Welcome once again, guys. This is Christ 169, aka Mark, coming to you live for pre recorded from the power of YouTube, Spectrum Internet. The Atari box. What is it? Does anybody care? This fat guy sure does not. I don't review tech, uh, so I'm not, and my shirt is not on backwards, um, so I don't have that issue there. Uh, it, it was one time at work, it was one time because I woke up and uh, got to work out late. But I didn't story. Uh, this is not about me getting to work late. This is me, uh, my Atari box. Or the VCS, whatever you want to call it. Listen, I don't care about it. Um, it's practically going to be a digital Steam device that plays old crappy games. Granted, you know, I, I was born old enough while I realized what the games were back then. Uh, I was six, seven years old, five, six, five, six, seven years old. I started playing 2600. So I understand vividly what it was. But is it going to have, like, Activision, Call of Duty, World War II, or is it going to have, like, you know, Battlefront uh, uh, 3, is it going to have Tomb Raider, is it going to have anything? We don't know. For all we know, it could be more like a, you know, a generic Steam box, for all we know. Now, if it turns into, like, a Steam machine, where Val allows it to, you know, and I can see it being somewhat worthwhile, um, if you want to go that route. And buy a Steam box cheaper than buying a PC, because room is for me uh, with my roommates, and I, you know, I live in a smaller room because um, there's this or nothing. Um, so for me, a small Atari box, if it was like a Steam box, would be better for me than it would be a big gigantic rig sitting on the side of the floor somewhere. And they have dogs in the house that like the whiz and shit on the floor. So and this is a little side note why I think, but. I'm thinking more going to be some damn generic rip-off box, you know, like a plug-and-play system. Just a lot more expensive. If it comes off being a, you know, a Steam machine that you can play Val on somehow, maybe not all Val game, but some, fine. Uh, they said that Activision will, will probably get with them. So a lot of the old games will go on there, obviously. Activision did some good stuff back then. But... I'm unsure about it. I don't like it because I think it's stupid. Atari, uh, you know better. What are you doing? What's become of you, in a sense? Uh, I'm I'm watching this. Shout out to Killer Comedy Unleashed. I'm watching one of his videos. Atari VCS not offering anything different, just like video game uh, regurgitation. Um, I understand what he's saying in that one because he had a guy who. Who used to do tech, but didn't. Now he's going to do tech. You had a guy who was um, 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 who was a Dreamcast uh, do tech, and I like his videos, all right. Uh, and you have an RGT, whoever. Listen, guys, all of us here. I don't know. Um, I've been up since 3:30 this morning. Um, People asking me um, on, on, you know, on Messenger and Facebook, you know, what, you know, what do you think of the Atari box? What do you think about this crap? What do you feel by it? Blah blah blah. I'm like, I don't know, don't care, because I haven't played Atari since 2600. Yeah, I'm that old. I'm a, you know, I'm a file soul. I'm not saying, I'm not saying, give me the freaking Walker and, and the cane and put my teeth in a jar or anything, area, but getting close to it probably. So a lot of young kids ain't going to know what the hell this thing is. People like myself and even uh, Killer Comedy and the rest of them will probably understand. But they won't. <clears throat> this is more of a um, nostalgia type of console. But like I said previously, a couple minutes ago, if it does more like a Steam machine, where it, where it has Val and, and Val gives the blessing to use it, and... And a partner with Steam, I can see. I can see. You know, if it play games, certain games, you're not like at 4K, but certain games, say at 7.10p, whatever. I can see it being worth something. A cheaper Steam machine that may actually work well. But right now, VCS, Atari, Atari box sounded a lot better. At least that was something new. This is like, and this is like, you know, we're gonna go back into the 70s. I was born in 81, so it's 1975, Atari came out, Quest Hunter did. Uh, and 
uh, it's really that dumb to me that these YouTubers are corner phrase from killer, you know, beating their dicks against the keyboards and smacking their faces against the keyboards. Uh, corner phrase, from killer. Um, that they're doing that kind of crap is because ain't nothing else going on in the gaming world. Once you talk about the fact that Battlefront 2 is, uh, you know, getting rid of, uh, you know, a lot of the, you know, put more customization instead of play to win. Uh, talk about how Call of Duty is making going back to the futuristic jumpsuit spin twirling and, and, and getting out of the Call of Duty World War 2, even though I thought Call of Duty World War 2 is good. The campaign, like the Empire Rhyming, but the game's so good. No. Let's hark about some Atari VCS that most people who are under the age of 35 will not know what the hell is going on. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, you know, if you're not part of the gaming generation, if you're not born around the 80s, 80 to 85, 84 mark, you're, you're not going to know the evolution of gaming. If you're born, born during the PS2 era, then you don't know what, what gaming is. Yes, you saw the PS2, PS3, PS4, but you didn't see it from when you were literally a, a, a square or a triangle saving the world, blasting little blocks at what looked like little rocks. Literally, I mean, it, you can't make this stuff up. Now, would appeal to nostalgia? Yeah, if it's like weekly price, say 200 bucks maybe, and it came with maybe with all the games preloaded on it, and maybe partnership with Valve to use their Steam and they can support Steam and maybe you can get it, you know, upgradable, customized. It came up with better versions that can, you know, utilize Steam and yes, you know, digital gaming is not 100% great, but whatever. I don't doubt it's going to be that. I think it'd be some stupid generic plug and play, expensive plug and play box where everybody's going to. But once again, the code of phrase, everybody's losing their minds to the killer and you know, we're regurgitating the same gaming videos constantly over and over again. And it's kind of stupid because there's really no sense into it. There's no sense into it that we're all the age of 30 and 40 years old. And when you're, once again, you know, beating your balls against keyboard section, slamming your hands in your face in the keyboard section, corner face and killer again. Because uh, I think it's very funny, very funny visual. People beating their dicks against. I, I think it's funny. Anyway, though, <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, I think I think it's a very hilarious visual. Um, to me, I think it's very funny to me. Um, cause it makes sense to me, and it makes sense to me why people are literally losing their minds. But it's a game console, folks. You know, it's not like it's going to be something that great. If it sells a million units, I'll be surprised. Because the console itself is not going to sell that many, I don't think. But we don't know. I could be wrong. I usually am wrong. But we'll find out. Um, I feel like, you know, the gaming community is once again losing their minds. Corner phrase from, um, corner phrase from uh, Killer. That they're literally becoming obsessed with stupid things instead of worrying about the bigger picture. Um, you know, game companies, you know, sneaking in, you know, man, microtransactions or something really big. No, let's, 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 go, let's go talk about the Atari box with the stupid Atari box and, and the dumbass problems. And we'll beat our dicks and get elbows down in the comment section, put a phrase for killer again. Uh, freaking out about it. But we'll let the microtransaction go because that's old news. No, I'm sorry, folks. You know, I, I feel more like, let's worry about. You know, I'm more tend to worry about school shootings than I am worried about the uh, Atari box right now. Atari box is the aim breaking the top ten in my mind. But I'm making this video because I'm seeing constantly, and I'm watching Killer Comedy and Leash's video, and it's very really funny how he's you know, had, had, you know, had a clothespin on his nose. Probably to keep the stench from the YouTubers who are pissing and moaning about Atari box. You know, from, you know, from, you know, from making them, you know, from, you know, from um, affecting his uh, nasal cavities, um, and I, and, and I, I've stopped watching a lot of them because of that reason, because it's constantly the same thing over, I understand about, 
you know, people wanting, you know, other nostalgia. But what's the point with no damn nostalgia? Nostalgia, if, if it's going to be a box of the glorified damn freaking digital content game that has been played in like almost 30 years or 40 years. I mean, 37 years or 38, or probably almost 40 years ago. Since it came out in 75. So we need to start thinking about what we're really gonna, cause we're, you know, it's like, you know, it's like a bunch of YouTubers are like, you know, you know, a dog chasing a car. One car, and they chase their car, they keep chasing cars. They don't stay on one car. They keep chasing back and forth. And they don't stay on one car and chase it. They stay on one, okay, one topic, not car, and chase after it. Um, so, what do you guys think about it? Like, subscribe to my video. Um. I don't have Patreon, cha-ching, personally I have a full-time job, don't need one, um, uh, even if I had one, I'd probably make, I'd probably make you know, a dollar probably, but I don't have one, I don't care, um, I'm just too lazy to go work to go make a Patreon, because I can't spend eight hours to make a 20 minute video, then be assessed with some guy who's, uh, uh, who, uh, whose middle name is Comedy for some reason. Uh, be obsessed with that guy. Um, with some guy who reviews tech is. Um, but then again, though, you know, I don't, I, don't, I like heavy metal, but I'm not a cupcake. Well, I love cupcakes, though. So, but anyway, though, what do you guys think of the Tardy Box? What do you guys think? You guys care about it? Like, I don't care about it. What do you guys feel? Are you guys sick and tired of hearing about it? Do you want to have things just come out so we can fail already and be done with it? Uh, so we can move on to other important things, like, you know, like, you know, like, you know actual gaming news. Uh, if you guys do, uh, what do you think about it? What's your best game do you want to play on it? If you don't care, then type I don't care or whatever. Or if you have any fears about the upcoming consoles going all digital, what do you, how, how do you feel that happen if they do? It probably won't happen for a long time. But, well, yes, yeah, my gamer tag on Xbox Live and PlayStation Network is Crisis, C-R-I-S-I-S-169. Hit me up, uh, message me. Please message me with, with actually messages, not stupid comments like I've been getting the last couple of nights. Um, because I will start blocking people. Because um, it's retarded. I know a lot of people in this world are so retarded. So, just be cool about it. And I'll see you guys in the battlefield.